What if I told you there was a 200-foot rabbit on top of a mountain left to rot and decay for nearly two decades? Well, that's exactly what I am telling you. And before you start to get grossed out with the real-life logistics of a decomposing behemoth dire rabbit, I should mention that this floppy-eared friend is stuffed. Like a stuffed animal kind of stuffed? But that still doesn't make it any less curious, though. Maybe you've seen photos of this strange entity floating around on the web. Without any real context or explanation, though, it's a strange thing to stumble upon. Are these photos real? Are they fake? Well, they are real, and there's a bit of a story that goes along with it. So sit back for a moment while I explain some things. So what's up with this gigantic, decaying, peptobismal pink bunny anyway? Who would neglect such an absolute unit of a friend, a real-life big chungus, and leave it out in the middle of nowhere to decay for years? Well, fire up your Google Earth and take a look from space, because this 200-foot rabbit is laying on top of a mountain in Prada Novoso, Italy. Looking at it from above really makes it look like the rabbit fell from the sky and smashed against the mountain, like Gandalf smote the ruins of the Balrog. It's a bit of a hike to reach this rabbit, but things only get a bit more creepy when you realize there's a poem associated with it. It, uh, does make things a bit more unsettling, so of course I'm gonna read it. Happy you feel as you climb up along its ears, almost falling into its cavernous mouth, to the belly summit, and look out over the pink woolen landscape of the rabbit's body, a country dropped from the sky, ears and limbs sneaking into the distance, from its side flowing hearts, liver, and intestines. Happily in love, you step down the decaying corpse, through the wound, now small like a maggot over woolen kidney and bowel. Happy you leave, like a larva that gets its wings from an innocent carcass at the roadside. Such is the happiness which made this rabbit. I love the rabbit. The rabbit loves me. I mean, we should all be so happy to be little maggots slip sliding through the bunny, yeah? Okay, now time for some context. It turns out this 200-foot stuffed bunny called Haas, or Hare, was left on the top of the mountain as an art installation. It took the artist's collective gelatin five years to knit this super pink chungus. I mean, look at the scale of it. That's dedication. They stuffed it on site on the hilltop and lovingly stitched it together in 2005. I mean, this truly is a labor of love. One of the goals seems to be to inspire a sense of whimsical wonder, to make it feel as though the beholder is an explorer and just over the next hill, as though knitted by giant grandmothers, adorable, lies this vast rabbit to make you feel as small as a daisy. And mission accomplished, I say. Looking at the original concept art for Haas, it's a bit more clear that it was intended for the rabbit's entrails to be pouring out of its side, as animals from the wilderness gathered around to look at it and potentially feast upon its massive broken body, gaining sustenance like the little larva. The idea was also for people to feel like the little Lilliputans from the famous tale of Gulliver's Travels. Within this tale, the Lilliputans are only six inches tall, and upon Gulliver crashing onto their shorelines, they fear Gulliver due to his massive size in comparison. So we are indeed tiny compared to the enormous size of Rabbit. During its stay on the mountain, Rabbit has weathered, well, all sorts of weather. Here it is in 2006, just a year after installation, soaking up the snow. Judging by all the footprints, many a hiker has indeed beheld this marvelous creature. Gelatin, the group, encourages checking in on the floppy friend again and again over the years to see how it has changed. And in the time since it was first put on the mountainside, Rabbit has started looking <laughs> kind of rough. More rough than a beloved velveteen rabbit's wear and tear for sure. More macabre too, of course. It's not really pink anymore, and its sunbleached skin is ripping and tearing. You can see its insides through its outsides. It's starting to resemble marshmallow cream or some goop monster or what I imagine Book Coraline's other father to look like. Nature is healing? As of right now, you can actually go and see the rabbit yourself, if you're so inclined. <laughs> Sorry. The artist's website says you can go to Artisina by public bus, but from there you'll have to walk 20 to 30 minutes up to the rabbit. However, you should know that the Google Maps GPS location is labeled, quote, the outline of the pink bunny, quote, which, looking at the satellite view of that marker, pretty much just shows the bunny's outlines, as of 2022 map data. So it looks like the bunny has nearly been reclaimed by the Earth. One thing is for certain, though, the bunny's time is nearly up. Not only because its innards are now mostly outards or outlines, but mostly because the art installation was set up to be from 2005 to 2025. 
giving the bunny a 20-year stay on top of the mountain. After that, I'm not sure if they just sort of leave it there like a giant sky baby's forgotten toy, or come in and clean up the remains. Guess we'll find out soon! Out of curiosity, did you know about the giant bunny before this video? Let me know! Thank you, friends and fiends, for checking out this curious video. Subscribe now so you don't miss the next creepy cool thing. Goodbye!